Good. You're all here. Let's be on our way. Um... Are you sure about this, Alm? Am I sure about what? Oh, please. About Salika. You finally see her after gods know how long, and you end up in a spat? Hey, don't give me that look. We all know she took off in a right huff. You two used to be inseparable. What happened? <sighs> that was a long time ago, Tobin. A lot's happened. To both of us. Hmm... Well, I'm no expert, but I think a normal person would just apologize. I'm sure she hasn't gotten too far yet. What with those skinny legs and all. Seriously, Tobin? You're, you're passing out relationship advice now? Give it a rest. It's not like every fight has a right side and a wrong side. Get over it, Gray. I'm well aware of that. It's just... Well, this could be the last time Alm and Selica see each other. You'd think they'd want to part on a less sour note. It's all right, Tobin. I appreciate what you're saying. But this is something for me and Selica to work out on our own. Besides, I'm the leader of the Deliverance now. It wouldn't be right to keep everyone waiting on my own private business. Um... Selica! Mm hmm? I'm sorry, May. I was lost in thought. Did you need something? Me? <laughs> no, I'm fine, like always. But what about you? That guy leading the deliverance is a friend of yours, right? I know we're in a rush, but surely we had time for you to say goodbye. It's fine. That isn't necessary. But Selica. May, I need to reach the Temple of Mila as soon as possible. I know the Mother will reveal a path to save Zofia that doesn't involve violence. I don't know about this, Bowie. Silica's acting all weird. I wonder what happened. Well, can you blame her? I'm sure she's more than a little conflicted. If the Deliverance defeats Desai and drives the Empire back, what next? Zofia will need a ruler, and who better than a boy who cast off Tyranny's yoke? What? But Selica's the rightful heir! Yeah, but she can't exactly just go and announce that to everyone. If she did, she'd be made to lead the Deliverance effort herself. Believe me, that's the last thing Selica wants right now. I hate it when you make sense, Bowie. But that just means we have to hold tail to the Temple of Mila. The Earth Mother will know what to do. She'll take care of everything. I pray it's truly so simple. Once we cross this mountain, we'll finally reach the coast. It's a hard climb, but I know we'll make it. Hold. Hmm? Who's there? <sighs> You're the one from before. I'm glad our paths have crossed again. I'd hoped for a chance to properly thank you for helping us. I've no use for thanks. I come bearing a warning. Proceed no further here. What? I must know a reason for this warning. The terrain ahead is loose and prone to failure. Additionally, there are still forces in play who would see you harmed. If you must attain the Temple of Mila, strike west through the mountains. West? But that's where Om... You have been warned. Wait, please! And he's gone! Again! I seriously want to know who this creepy mask guy is and why he's following us. As do I, May. But regardless, this makes twice he's aided us. And with that dire warning ringing in our ears, what is your plan, milady? Do we follow Mr. Mask's advice and take the western route? That would be quite a detour. Do we have any cause to trust this masked fellow in the first place? Sure, he helped us out before, but that's no guarantee of pure motive. And what was that bit about forces in play who would see you harmed? Is he saying more people are going to turn up and try to kidnap Selica? Hmm. <sighs> no. We continue on as planned. I'm not dismissing what he said, but our purpose cannot brook delay. If we are attacked, I have faith we can prevail. Besides, even the cleverest trap will betray some sign to a watchful eye. So as long as we continue to be vigilant, we'll be all right. Hmm, and here she is at last. 
Do not mistake me for the base fools who came before. My power was bestowed upon me by Jetta himself. Now go, crush the girl and the pitiful insects accompanying her! Apologize, but stop allowing petty emotion to cloud your judgment. Your choices steer the fates of more than just yourself. You're right. I can offer no rebuttal. Still, there's little sense in turning back when you're almost through. The Zophian coast is just ahead. The road beyond should offer safe passage. How can you be certain? My prey were kind enough to use magic potent enough to reveal their location. Again, as sudden as ever. I wish he would at least offer his name. Yeah, talk about your shady characters. Still, I suppose he seems like a decent enough guy. Yeah, well, Mr. Mask seems to enjoy our company. I wager we'll see him again. And you're sure you've got no guess as to who he might be? None. I have no allies left in this world, save the ones I travel with now. Oof. Didn't mean to sour the mood. Forget I asked. It's all right. But back to the matter at hand. The road is well and truly blocked now. I don't think we'll be heading back that way anytime soon. Then it's a lucky thing we've no need to head that direction. Now we couldn't go to Aid Olm even if we wanted to. Milady? It's nothing. We've spent enough time here. Let's press on. Whoa! What's that sound? The ground is unstable around here. There must have been another rock slide. Some distance off from the sound of it. We've no worry of harm to our men. That's good, but... A report, sir. A cliff has given way along the eastern ridge. The route to the Sophian coast is blocked. The eastern ridge? That's the direction Selica was heading. Oh, Selica, please be all right. All right, so here we are in chapter three, and now we can control both armies of Am and Selica. As you can see. So in this episode, I'm going to be using Am's army, and in the next episode, we'll be using Selica's army, and I'll... Be sure to switch between those two armies for each episode. So let's continue with Arm's army and uh, let's fight. Sir Alm, our scouts have spied Regellian forces up ahead. <sighs> then the battle begins here. So it seems. The fights ahead will be nothing like our skirmishes in the south. You've wounded Regel's pride, and they will strike back without mercy. But the spirit of Zofia demands you prevail. There's no turning back now. I know. There you are, Welp. I thought you'd never arrive. Wait a second. For that? You march beneath Regel's standard now? Does that really surprise you, Clive? You and the Deliverance took all I believed in and trod it into the mire. In Regel, they still have ideals worth upholding. 
Damn you, Fernand. Listen to yourself. My king is dead. My country fallen. But I'll not hand this land over to you. Now, it is the Regalian Empire's turn. Lord Burkut shall lead us and unite Valentia under one noble order. Fernand, you have always fought for your motherland, for Sophia! Only one of us has lost his senses, Clive. What? Allow me to enlighten you. That boy you have been parading around as your new hero? He was never Myson's grandson. Oh, what is this folly? Oh, I can assure you it is no folly. My source has known Sir Myson for years. The old knight has no family. <laughs> Perhaps he made some orphan his ward so he wouldn't have to die alone. You lie. And yet, there is the matter of what the old man at the castle said. <laughs> oh, Clive. You've become the very picture of absurdity. Once you were a man to whom the lineage of our noble houses meant all. But now you take for your future king a boy you don't know from a gutter rat. <laughs> so here we are on this map and Zack is going to be our uh, enemy boss right here. Zack's son actually. And he has got a javelin. He's got a lot of defense. And there are these two witches. And these are the new types of enemies that we're going to be facing. And uh, they can actually teleport. Their eyes are a bit too freaky. So they can use teleportation. And um, we have these many enemies here. Including two armor knights. And some cavaliers here including uh, the edgy Fernand. And uh, a magical user. So for this battle and for these cavaliers you definitely need to use... Um, you definitely need to use the, oh, freaking Rider's Bane, which is also known as the Beast Slayer, which is effective against, uh, cavalry units. So you can either give that to Clive or, uh, Claire. Claire can actually double a lot of these cavalier units because, um, Claire has got 10 speed. And all of these units have got 6 speed. And uh, even Fernand has got like 8 speed, so um, Claire will easily be able to double these units. So we can definitely give her Rider's Bane. And um, we can give Forsyth the Steel Lance. And Python can be given the Iron Bow. And Arm is fine with Leather Shield actually. And we are pretty much good to go. Actually, we can give um, Clive, or actually, I, we do have an iron shield, which we can give to um, some unit. Where is that iron shield? Yep, there we go. It does give you plus four defense, but it reduces your speed by one. We can definitely give that to Cliff, uh, because he has got a lot of speed, and he does not really mind uh, losing one speed point, so we can definitely do that. So, Cliff will be able to outspeed all of these units without any kind of trouble. Even these, uh, even these witches. So that is good, and those are the preparations. And, uh, we basically have to put Claire here, and just, uh, pair her up with a healer. And we can definitely take care of a lot of these units. Um, Clive should be here. And Python can definitely um, help us a lot. And Gray is going to be helping us a lot because he's got Lightning Sword. So he'll be doing magical damage to these two armor knights. So having few magical users here is pretty good. So let's begin. Who are those women? Those would be witches. They are women who have offered their wills and souls to Regal's patron god, Duma. He gave them command of vast magic, but little else of who they were remains. Their tale is a sad one, 
but hardly unusual in a land so hungry for power. That's terrible. If Regal occupies Zofia, her people could be subjected to the same fate. I won't let that happen. So that witch is pretty much gonna be warping here. So we have to move any kind of unit that has got bad resistance stat away. Otherwise, they're gonna get blasted by those witches. And that's not gonna be too much fun for us. We can definitely put Cliff here. Um, because Cliff has got really good resistance and defense. I really like Cliff. That's why he's one of my favorite villagers along with uh, Gray. Because honestly, they make the game so much more easier, to be honest. So, we can put uh, Gray here, actually. Um, these archers are going to be attacking us. We can put Clive here. Gray here. Python here. And Faye can stay here. And Faye has got Physique, which is a really good uh, way of healing units. Okay, so that uh, witch didn't warp. Because we had this high resistance cliff here waiting for her and uh, We can basically take care of these units um, Heavy draw does not take you out You can basically stay in the woods with gray and attack them and dodge their uh, pathetic accuracy attacks in this game, I really like to take care of the archers first because they can be very annoying, especially when you have units like Silk who have got very poor defense stat. So we have to stay careful. And we can just put Arm here because Arm has got the leather shield and Cliff. Actually, we can move here. Cliff can move all the way um, here. I'll put Silk out of the attack range and I'll put Lucas here. We can put Clear here and uh, just end our turn. Yeah, so this archer is going to be attacking Tobin, but Tobin has got. A lot of speed, so he's gonna be doubling him, but he's gonna miss. Please hit this. Never mind. Yeah, so this armor knight is making a big mistake because Gray can hit on the magical side because of the lightning sword. And uh, the soldier is gonna be attacking Clive. You can easily take care of them. So, uh, we actually failed to take you out, which is a bummer, but let's use uh, Thunder Magic and take you out. Um, after, this, uh, after this Cliff gets a level up, he's going to be getting Excalibur. And Excalibur is a really good spell because he can get a lot of crits. So, we can easily just take out uh, this guy with a magical user, like Fey, if we land. So, it's all up to Nosferatu. Please hit. Oh my god, please hit. There we go. So, that's helpful. And now we can easily just attack uh, this guy with gray clear is definitely going to be taking a lot of damage um my python unfortunately is not very strong so that's a bit unfortunate and we can definitely just uh Um, attack this guy with 
Forsyth. Forsyth has got a lot of uh, defense. You're not taking me seriously. Uh, I feel like something was supposed to happen here. Wow, that was bad. Um. Oh, 94% hit rate move. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Come on now. Don't do this to me. So we can uh, definitely take out this guy with uh, Tobin. If Tobin hits. This guy will hit. Of course he's gonna hit me. But I cannot land. There we go. Finally. So we can uh, move arm here like this and just attack this guy. And then we can definitely take out this guy. Oh wow, we're gonna miss. That works actually because Python will be able to get a level up if he's able to hit. Which he might because that's decent. Yeah. Congrats. You came in second. And we're pretty much good to go. So yeah, there goes the witch. He's gonna be attacking Lucas, of course, because he's got really bad resistance. So 24 damage is a lot, and that knight is running away so that he can go to the healing tile. Gray is gonna miss that, and now these uh, cavaliers have started to approach. We actually do a lot of damage to Fernand, um, so we'll just put clear like this. We of course have to take out uh, these witches because they're a big problem. I can just go ahead and yeah, I, I guess Wow, okay, I die. Heavy draw. Okay. Does not help too much. We can always heal up Tobin first. Attack this guy with uh Okay. We'll use heavy draw. And hope that I can hit. It is really bad accuracy, yeah. Never gonna hit that. Never ever. The problem is that this witch is in the woods, so that's a really big issue. Arm has got decent accuracy. Uh, we can... Okay. I'll use physique on Lucas. To cover some HP. And then we'll just eat. That was refreshing. And recover some more HP. Use my Thunder Spell. Only two damage. Uh, she has a lot of resistance. You just go ahead and destroy this guy. And that will be it. Um. Wow, this guy actually lives. Come on now. We do a lot to you. Hmm. This is tough. Shall I then? Of course we're not hitting 41% hit rate move. That's for sure. That's not happening. That's not how this game works. She does so much damage to Forsyth. Um, I'll try to do this. Hope that I can get a crit or something. Okay. That was absolutely pointless. 
She is gonna be aiming for Lucas because he has got the lowest resistance. So Grey and uh, Claire will be able to deal with these Cavaliers. I think I'm having a moment. Come at me. Surely you detestable vermin don't think you can stand against a true nobleman. Well, Claire is actually a noble, technically, so I mean, you're the one who's wrong here. Okay, so we can easily just take out uh, this guy. Oh yeah, because of Ryder's Bane, unfortunately my Claire had uh, 8 speed, so that's why she couldn't double. But she doubles uh, pretty much every Cavalier here, so that's amazing. So let's take out this uh, Fernand with uh, our Ryder's Bane. There we go. That was amazing level up. And now we have to destroy. Now that this witch is out of the freaking woods, we can easily just attack her and kill her without any kind of trouble. Yeah, we'll do that. Now Forsyth can just take out this uh, witch to fight back. and get a lot of experience, that's a lot. And we can just heal up Lucas and uh, we can put Arm here in the woods but it does not really matter when our opponent is a magical unit. So we can just heal up uh, Claire and we can put Clive here. And we can easily just attack this guy and take him out with the fire spell. And now he's gonna learn Excalibur. Alright, so Excalibur is amazing. We'll stay in the woods and take out this Cavalier. Never mind, we're just gonna miss 87% hit rate moves. So that's really fun. Um, I think I can just stay in the woods. We can stay here, go to Conway, and eat a bread. That was refreshing. That's pretty much it. So he does have Javelin. He's still gonna be doing a lot if he hits. Don't push me. Gotcha. No, I'll not surrender. Not like this. He got absolutely dominated by Cliff. So there we go. She's gonna warp and she's gonna be attacking Ray. Please dodge. Okay, never mind. Yeah, she's got so much resistance that it's absolutely insane. And Forsyth is gonna get a level up. Showers me with blessings. Okay, so we obviously need to uh, heal up Gray and Python definitely needs a level up as well. See, because he's pretty low leveled. And we can easily just take out this uh, witch. 
And if we can actually get a crit if we get lucky, so I'll try to do that. So let's take out this witch. Let's try Excalibur for the first time. Actually, let's stay here. Um, what does this guy have? Okay. Let's do this. Get a crit. Bam. Excalibur is a really good spell because it is pretty accurate and you can get crits. It's more fun when we barely escape with our lives, right? Cliff got a lot of kills. So, let's proceed. We've emerged victorious, but the survivors will be making their way back to the main force. We can't rest on our laurels now. Wouldn't you agree, Clive? Hmm? Uh, yes. Quite. What is it? You look shaken. Oh, right. Forgive me. You and Fernand were good friends. No, it's not that. Well, it's not just that. In any case, it's nothing you need trouble yourself with. If you'll excuse me. What's with him? Let's save here and let's proceed. So first battle of Zofia Forest. And we're going to be facing a lot of magical users. Pretty much every enemy here is a magical user. So Lucas is going to be very, very worthless in this battle because of his low resistance. Clear is definitely going to be very helpful. She doubles everyone here. So Claire is going to be amazing. And we do not need to have leather shield on arm. He can have iron sword. And we do not need to have iron shield uh, on Cliff. And he can have something like, uh, let's see, orange, I guess. Because there are no physical units on this map so there's no point of carrying stuff like iron and leather shield so that's why and we are pretty much good to go let's put uh clear here and we need to put we need to put uh fey here and silk here let's begin so um we can just go ahead and attack this guy, but I'm not gonna do that. I'll wait for these people to approach us. Stand back. So, uh, Tobin, are we gonna clear the air here or what? Yeah, I suppose. So, is it just me, or are you and Claire getting close? Huh? You think? I feel like she spends all her time telling me to bug off. Yeah, but that's just it. She's comfortable around you or else she'd never let her hair down like that. <laughs> that's a weird way of reading into things. Why can't you put that much thought into anything else? Oh, you're looking for a fight? Let's take it outside, clown. We're already outside, and I'm kind of busy fighting these other guys. Uh. <laughs> Come on already. Let's take out your aggression on someone who deserves it. I've got this. Just leave it to me. Om. Hey, Faye. How are things? Things are utterly fantastic. Aren't you gonna ask me why? Um, why? Well, remember when you sat next to me at dinner yesterday? You gave me that leftover heel of bread you didn't want. You're excited about bread? No, silly. You touched my hand. 
I was up all night thinking about it. Oh, but don't worry. I drank a bunch of tea, so I'm ready to kill in your name. Just point me at your enemies and watch me go. Um, that's... Wow. I guess I'm glad she's able to find happiness in the little things. But I'm worried about the toll this war is taking on her. She's pretty much like Perry when it comes to killing. Just say the word. Allow me. So let's put our units like that. Lucas should just stay out of this. Absolutely stay out of this. So let's start killing these uh, units. Let's uh, take out this guy with Python, but because this guy is in the woods, we actually cannot do that. We'll have to use, um, I guess we'll have to use Excalibur and hope that we can get a crit. Yeah, Cliff does not disappoint. Less work for me. We can easily attack this guy. Or this guy. Yeah, so we'll weaken this guy with the uh, arm first. And then, I guess we can... Weaken him a bit more with Silk. Wow, Silk hitting two moves in a row. That's uh that's pretty uncommon. We actually kill you. Um Clive has got pretty bad resistance, actually. So he won't really be able to take these kinds of hits. So let's just attack this guy with Tobin. We're gonna miss, but we're gonna hit that one. And we can just uh, take out this guy with uh, Faye. If we hit, but nope. So let's take him out with uh, Python, I guess. Sorry, not your preferred outcome. And then, I do not think it's worth uh, risking Clive for that. So yeah, we'll bait. So he's gonna be attacking Clive for 11 damage. That is fine, we can always heal up. And Claire has got a good amount of resistance, so not really a big deal for her. She can easily shrug off those hits. Shall I then? And we have terrible accuracy because this guy's in the woods. So we just have to occupy these woods to make sure that these guys do not just uh, do not just um, have that much avoid yeah see I have terrible accuracy Don't now so let's use uh, Excalibur hope that we can get a crit please a, please get a crit on the second hit nope it's not gonna get that So we can just heal up, uh, we can just heal him up with, uh, Faye. And then, um, we need a magical user as 
This guy is in the woods, so hope that still can hit. Magic does ignore terrain, so I mean that's why. And we can definitely use arts if this guy was in the woods, but right now it's not really needed. So we can just go into the woods and uh, attack this guy, attempt to hit. We can even get a crit. I just had to say that and Tobin is gonna get a crit. Wow, if only that level up was a bit better. So we're gonna get uh, the... Um, we're gonna get Tobin up to level 7, and now he can be promoted. So that's amazing. Shall we then? We can just go ahead and uh, at attack this guy. Um, we'll attack you with the uh, arm first. I'm just dodging a lot of hits today. That's pretty good. Okay, that's good. So let's kill this guy with clear. I know. I'm simply terrible. Have you ever seen such physical perfection? I actually have not, so that was a really good level up. And we can simply attack this guy for some damage, and then um, we can weaken this guy. Gray will be able to take out this guy then. But I do not want Gray to get another kill. So that's why. Yeah, 9 times 2. That's fine. So these guys just go into the woods to be annoying. Wow. We'll use uh, Thunderclap. We still only have 61, um, 61 chance of hitting this guy. So that's pretty annoying. Uh, we definitely need to heal up. Uh, we definitely need to heal up. Python. Okay. So we'll kill you with uh, Excalibur. As we might get a crit. On the second hit. That's what I'm talking about. Excalibur is amazing. And then we can just heal up uh, Claire because she has been taking a lot of hits. So she deserves that. And she's actually going to be able to defeat this guy. That was supposed to be Python's kill, but that's fine. That also works. Um, let's try to hit this guy. Please hit. There we go. That's that's good. Otherwise, this guy would have been pretty annoying. And now only two enemies are left, so we can easily take care of them. I guess I could have uh, viewed the support conversation of Arm and Claire. Ah, salutations, Arm. Uh, hello, Claire. <laughs> And just what are you guffawing at? Such behavior is unspeakably boorish. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Very sorry. It's just... Who says salutations on a battlefield? Well... But... I say it. Oh, very well. How would our fearless leader have me greet him instead? <laughs> I'm not criticizing the way you speak, Claire. In fact, I like that about you. You... You do? And now 
we can just Don't worry about me. put Cliff here, but heal him first. Because Excalibur spell does take a lot of health. And that's not good. We can also heal up uh, Python. Put clear here and we're good to go. So yeah, this guy's going to be attacking uh, Cliff with Meyer. And now the boss has started to move and he's in the woods. So we're going to be having really bad accuracy. Like really, really bad. Um, so let's heal up. Cliff up to full health and you've got 8 speed that's too much you've also got 12 attack so you're gonna be doing 6 times 2 to my foresight um, you can just attack this guy okay it's a nice dodge was not hoping to dodge that, but still, that works out. And, um... Python can easily just kill this guy. And get a level up. Really want to make him a sniper. Yeah, indeed, that was underwhelming. Um, we can definitely use a Excalibur. Hope that we can get a crit and just dispose of this guy without any kind of uh, trouble. Okay, so no crits for us. Uh, we can definitely heal up Cliff. And we're good. Yeah, so that guy is going to run away. So we'll just use a Excalibur spell and take you out. Really hoping that I would have got a crit and uh, I would have ended off this battle with a crit with Cliff. But yeah, that was the battle. Thank Mila, we still have our lives. So now we can actually promote some of our units. So that's good. Let's change class and. Now we have a sniper. I can do this. So now we have promoted Tobin and in the next episode we're going to be using Celica's army. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please be sure to leave a like. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.